Hey guys, it's Tajay and welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell by the title, I passed my real estate exam. I passed my real estate exam. Yes, I am a licensed real estate agent in the state of Texas. No, it is just a blessing and it's just been a roller coaster. Honestly, if you're studying for your exam, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's emotionally draining. If you hear anything outside, I live right by the airport and there are planes and people who speed right here, so pardon them. So yeah, basically I just wanted to make this video obviously announcing in marketing that I am a licensed real estate agent in Texas. Once you finally pass that test, you have to say that at least a hundred times a day. Hi, my name is Tajay, a licensed real estate agent. Yes, licensed real estate agent, nice to meet you. <laughs> make sure you brand everywhere you go. Okay. Also, I'm basically making this video to start a series. I want to call this series Beauty in Real Estate. Well, I think I'm going to call it Beauty in Real Estate. But right now, it's I like Beauty in Real Estate. If you guys like that, give it a thumbs up. I basically just want to talk about everything that it took for me to start and how I passed the test and exactly what study materials I used. In each video moving forward, obviously, this is going to be episode one. I want to just tackle everything there is to know about getting a real estate license and what it takes to get your real estate license and, and, and then like literally everything that you run into after you get your real estate license. Because let's be honest, everything that you learn for your state and national exam, <laughs> they say you're going to have to forget that stuff and it's really true. So just make sure that you're ready to learn even more, to start training all over again. So for those who are discouraged, if you have failed your test once or twice or three times, don't be discouraged. It took me three times to pass my national exam. Yes, I failed twice. And it took me a lot of times to pass my state. I'm gonna just leave it there because it's in the past. It's not the past. <laughs> if I would have thought about this going into it, I probably would have studied for the national. Study, study, study at least a week or two for the national and then taken the two tests and then pass the national, honestly. And then I would have studied for the state, study, 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 study for the state. And then, you know, pass the state that way, you know, just, but having all that information in your mind at one time, it's a lot, like it's a lot that you have to remember just so that you're like gonna need to forget. And honestly, a lot, like a lot of people say like, you don't need the math. Um, I think, you know, we should study the math and maybe get a little bit better with the math. Cause I kept missing the national part by like two or three or five and it's like, dang, if I just knew that math question, I would have passed. So math isn't that important, but if you know the answers, you're guaranteed to pass, especially if you're missing by like one or two. So I would say definitely study for the math. So what I'm going to talk about now is um, where I went to school. I got my certification at TCC. Yes, Texas Community College. I'm so sorry. TCC, Tarrant Community College here in Texas. And yes, community colleges, um, if you research them in your area, a lot of them do offer the real estate certification. So um, it was a little expensive. You know, it, it, is a, it is an investment with real estate. Like before you even get into real estate, it's you're literally investing your time and money just to study for real estate. That's all I'm saying. But it's a great return. Thank God I was eligible for financial aid. So financial aid basically paid for my classes so if you're really struggling in that area um, and you're also working full-time like me it was great to actually go to school learn it in the six months and get my certification I also made the Dean's List <laughs> if you're just wanting to go to get your certification but not necessarily uh, wanting to spend a lot of money I would definitely do that now um, after getting my certification obviously I started in January finished in May COVID happened I was in school, like I had in-class sessions. With COVID happening, I was learning everything at home. Unfortunately, my professors, they did not, you know, have the, you know, Zoom calls and stuff like that while I was doing all that. So I really had to do extra research and it was a little draining. So after I got my certification in May, I waited a couple of months to really um, get myself mentally prepared to study for the exams. So today is October, 31st i got my license on october 28th so i just want to let you guys know it took me about a year to complete everything but i mean it was definitely worth it just the time and not you know wanting to stress just went by my pace um so yeah what i'll do now is tell you 
what I did to study and um, let me go get that book that I hopefully will never have to see again in my entire life. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? This book. This book right here, Champions. So even though I didn't attend Champions, Champions, they still have a prep course that you're able to purchase. Um, you know, I'm really very thankful for my father because my father was in the military and Champions, they have a military discount. Um, I can't remember how much it is off. I think it's like 20, but don't quote me. I'm so sorry, I don't remember. But they do have, they do offer military discounts. I'm not sure if the discounts range um, if you're, you know, a spouse, a vet, or someone in the military, or if you're dependent, I don't know if they're different, but I think mine was like 20%, if I'm not mistaken. So, I highly, highly, highly recommend you getting this course. Um, what I like about them is, so with the courses, you can either take the classes every day, um, in a week. So I'm not sure how I forgot to say this, but the everyday classes are Monday through Friday, I believe, for two hours. Or you can do Saturday and Friday classes for eight hours or six hours. And you have a mentor who is on like a Zoom call with you and you're in a class full of people, obviously. And you learn and you take notes and they will go through this entire book. Now, what I also like is you have access to this book online <laughs> and then you also have access to four exams um, per state and then four exams per uh, national portions both portions and when I tell you when I fell the first two times I was not studying like I needed to study okay so I definitely use this and once I was um, well aware of the terms vocab is crazy um, you need to know vocabulary basically um, go take those mock exams and don't take them in the back of the book okay you want to go if you i'm sorry if you don't have access to a computer but if you do have access um you can either do it on your phone which i did a lot in my on my phone in bed studying or on the couch just studying on my phone take those mock exams because it one it times you like you're going to be timed and if you have test anxiety like i do i will freak out like just thinking about it it's making my skin crawl definitely take those mock exams because it's going to time you and they're literally written how they're written on the test so it's it's a lot after you know you turn it in it does tell you what you got wrong it's not going to tell you what you got right so what i did is i would take the exam and uh, i would study what i got wrong and then i would go back and take it again until i got at least 80. and once i was like you know getting them getting them i was getting like 90s on them 90s 90s and i was like flowing through those exams in less than it's like 80 questions on them i was going through them in like 30 minutes just remembering like well 30 minutes each honestly but it they get so easy and if you remember that and it starts getting easy for you like that you'll definitely pass your exam um so another thing that helped me out a lot was prep agent oh my god prep agent like whoo child i wish you could just get your certification through prep agent because prep agent like helped me so much if you have a friend i would definitely say do this with a friend um because i had a friend i had a homegirl, and we actually met in school working on our certification afterwards we stayed in contact in contact she brought prep prep agent well i can't speak it's probably a little plus she brought prep agent and i bought champions um, and then we just gave each other login information and we studied that way. So on prep agents, they have live webinars, they have vocabulary tests, they have your state tests, they have um, the national tests. They have a lot and a lot of things that they don't touch on in champions, they touch on everything else in prep agent. So I highly, highly recommend that. You also have access to tutors and i want to give a shout out to miss lot miss cynthia lot she was my uh tutor here for texas and she was a sweetheart and um i just booked the private private tutor sessions and they're an hour long and those tutor sessions helped me out a lot so if you're in texas i would highly highly recommend you book those sessions with miss lot um especially for studying for your state exam she is such a doll and she helped me out a lot so those were honestly the two things i studied to help me with passing this test okay so i mean if you're really bad at studying i will literally show you my notebook anything that i didn't know i wrote down 
and there's pages full of just notes from the very beginning and i have another one anything i didn't know i wrote it down write it down i read it every day just memorize everything so i i definitely just wanted to make this video to talk about how i started and what i studied once i got my certification um so again I'm, i want to do multiple videos like this um so obviously my next is going to be what to expect and like all the fees that you have to pay because oh my gosh i will just tell you now put a thousand dollars away put a thousand dollars away because after you get your real estate your real estate license put a thousand dollars away really after you get your certification because that application fee whew, put a thousand dollars away um <laughs> so that you can continue um and you know you have to pay to take the exams so that racked up you know you have to pay for the, the study courses if you choose to do so you have to pay for the tutors put aside a thousand maybe even twelve hundred dollars i probably <laughs> i don't want to talk about it if there's anything else that you guys want me to talk about um in my next video please leave every single question you have below because child i'm still working on trying to figure out what to do and i am still you know learning so as i'm learning i definitely want to share with you guys um so that you guys will just be able to do it as you're doing um i want to say congratulations to any new realtors congratulations on passing your exam i want to congratulate anyone that's in school congratulations for starting your journey um congratulations for getting your certification and you know congratulations if you're just watching this video trying to figure out if it's something you want to do um real estate is a for me it's going to be a great great career so i'm just going to leave it at that you guys will definitely see um with everything that's to come and um yeah i think that's everything so before i end the video i definitely want to say support your friends we live in a time where we are not supporting each other so i'm going to show you guys how to support your friends by supporting mine okay um so my homegirl one of my closest friends her name is alicia she has an amazing clothing line called speak prosperity llc on instagram if you guys want to check it out she has a clothing line that is focused on faith-based material everything doesn't have scriptures on it if you don't want to wear scriptures i completely understand that she has very encouraging clothing as well so my t-shirt says trust obedience and patience i'll insert a picture of what the shirt looks like I will show you it on me, but I just couldn't get a good angle. Sorry, guys, but you can get it in a V-neck. So I think the shirt that the picture that I'm showing you, I have screenshot in my phone. It's not a V-neck. I think it's more of a, a crew neck, but she knows me so well. She gave me a V-neck. Um, but the shirt came right on time. It was right after I actually failed on my test. I forgot that I ordered the shirt. So when I got it, it was like, trust the process, be obedient, keep going, and just have patience. And all this is going to work out in God's time. Well, Lord, your tummy. Oh, yeah, so back to the video. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you can definitely just, you know, I'll link all my social medias below if you want to keep it, um, keep updated with the things that I do, you know. Um, I am a part of a brokerage. I am with EXP. I don't know if I can edit that right there, but if so, I'm going to do this EXP. Um, as I'm learning more and more about the brokerage, I'll definitely make a video on them as well. I definitely, you know, appreciate you guys tuning into my channel. Comment, like, subscribe. Because <laughs> why I am a real estate agent. Hi, nice to meet you. Tajay, real estate agent. Yes, I'm a real estate agent. And the TL Tony Mitchell Flex. It just has a ring to it. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. And it's all in God's timing. Okay? Bye.